I will be reading your assumptions about my younger self. Last week, I was busy cleaning my room, the house, kasi syempre, medyo antagal na natin nag-stay sa bahay. So, hindi mo na alam actually yung gagawin mo. So, I started cleaning. And I found my old baby photos. Nakaka-throwback siya kasi I really had a great childhood. I remember my sister was my bestest friend. We would play a lot. Tapos close kami ng family ko. We would travel. We would, we would make and create memories together. So, baon-baon ko siya hanggang ngayon. Naisip ko that I could like share my childhood story with you guys through my old photos. So I posted my old photos sa IG story ko and I asked you guys what are your assumptions about the young Gabby. And oh my god, nakakatawa. Super funny yung mga assumptions niyo. Hindi ko yun expect na ganun pala yung feeling niyo about sa akin nung bata ako. So let's get started. So the first photo is me as a baby with my mom and a solo photo. Sobrang laki kong baby! Ang laki-laki kong baby! Okay, so let's read my favorite assumptions. Ang daming nagsabi na, You look like a boy. Who nesa? <laughs> Galing kay Rhea XDL, You look like a boy. Meron pang kay Bea Nicole na pagkamalan na baby boy. Nasa chan pa lang ako ng mommy ko. She actually thought that I was a boy. Kaya yung original name ko dapat was Gabriel Luis Lopez. Feeling niya talaga boy ako kasi parang ang lakas niya kumain, mommy, tapos ang likot-likot ko, lagi daw ako sumisipa. So she prepared a name for a boy. Pero it turns out, I'm a girl. <laughs> so ginawang Gabriela Luis or Tega Lopez. Centennial baby kasi ako. So I was kinda named after Gabriela silang. Strong, matapang. Let's go, Gabrielas. I have my longanisa arms right here. <laughs> Yung mga assumptions. I think you're around 3 kilos when you were born, guys. I was 8.2 pounds when I was born. I was a big, big baby. As in, akala ni mommy, masisiis na siya. Kasi parang ang laki-laki ko. Pero normal delivery naman. Pero sobrang nahirapan daw siya. I asked her. Mataba talaga ako nung bata ako. Hence the nickname Ba, which stands for Batchoy. So that's my nickname here at home at the house. Meron pa dito nakalagay, a very matakaw baby. Guys, alam niyo ba ng baby ako? Hindi ako kumain masyado ng mga Gerber, Serilac. As in, ang kinakain ko talaga, gulay, egg. As in, talagang matakaw ako. So, feeling ko kaya din matakaw ako ngayon kasi nasanay talaga ako sa mga ganong food. Ever since matakaw, since 98. Speaking of baby photos, actually, the reason why I did this video is I really miss my childhood. As in, it was such a worry-free stage of your life. Diba? Parang, ang iniintindi mo lang, kumain, maglaro, spend time with your family, be happy, and then eventually you go to kinder, and then you just ask for baon, go to school, and then life was so simple back then. Um, compared to now, super adulting na. Besides missing my childhood, I also miss I also miss my skin when I was a kid. Hindi niyo ba na-observe guys na parang yung skin ng baby, it's also perfect. Parang it's so supple, it's so smooth. And the explanation behind that is that because baby skin has like so much collagen. And yun yung pinaka parang healthiest stage ng skin natin. Siyempre kasi fresh pa, hindi pa nalalagay ng products, as in super okay pa. Collagen is made up to 75% of our body and it's the biggest next to water. So it's so, so, so important. There's no need to worry because I discovered something new. It's the Bello Collagen Smoothie and it comes with a new flavor. It's in strawberry now. It also has melon and one unflavored. 
and you can see results up to 14 days agad. So, na mapansin niyo ba as you grow older, yung skin natin, especially if you guys are aren't maintaining it, medyo nagsasag or medyo nagkakaroon ng wrinkles, it's because as we get older, our collagen decreases as well. It's 1% per year decrease. So, for example, you're 20 years old. So, balik 20% may no walang collagen sa yo. So, now I'm 22. So, 22% may no walang collagen. So, imagine we have to replenish that collagen. And you can only replenish that collagen by supplementation. So, loves, help your skin recover. Okay, BRB. I'll show you na lang, guys, so that you can really see it. Let's prepare the drink. It's the newest flavor. It's strawberry. Oh, guys, super. I'm a fan of strawberry, banana. Yan yung mga gusto ko. So super happy ako na may strawberry ng flavor yung bello. Before kasi we have the melon one and the unflavored one. But you know what? The unflavored one you can actually put it in your coffee or in your smoothie or whatsoever. They have a matching tumbler. Bello. Okay, let's get water. So guys, you can drink your Bello Collagen Smoothie to like twice a day, once or twice a day. And then you can see results in 14 days again. So if you want to drink it twice a day, you can take one in the morning and one in the night. Oh guys, by the way, it says here the collagen, it's premium and it's from Japan. So talagang, you're assured that it's gonna work on your skin. You have good collagen right there. And you know what? Collagen isn't only good for the skin, it's also good for your hair, for your nails, for your bones. So, a complete package. Siya. Put that there. Mm, and then, para easy ang ating life, you just shake it. Super dali lang, guys. So, you just have to shake it, and then you're done. You're good to go. Shake it, shake it for me. Shake it, shake it for me. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Camera man queen. Mo papili. All good. Time for a taste. Collagen. Let me serve the later guys. It's, it tastes like strawberry smoothie talaga. So okay, let's proceed. Nilalagay ako ng extra sa tabi ko. Baka nakawin ng camera man ko. Eh. <laughs> Let's go. So guys, drink your collagen for a skin reset. Para glowing, firm, supple, smooth ang inyong skin. I will put this here to serve as a daily reminder for you guys to drink your collagen. By the way guys, for those of you who are wondering where you can purchase the Bello Collagen Smoothie, it's available in Lazada and it will be available in belloessentials.com and Shopee starting next week. So go grab your collagen and have your skin reset. Anyway, moving on, let us proceed. Oh my god, ito yung first day school. As a model, as a ramp model. Pero ito talaga yung parang first modeling gig ko because we would go to several malls. Like, nakakaabot kaming SM Fairview. As in, Malalayo Noveliches. Well, kasi taga-Pasay kami before in Paranaque. So, South Peep na ako before pa. So, malayo yun for us. Tapos, walang bayan. Ado lang TF. And then, we would just go there. And then, the clothes are free. Siyempre, kung ano yung sinuot mo, sa'yo na yun. And then, it's just purely exposure and experience. And just really, like, ano, oh building connections. So, chinaga ako ng mommy and daddy ko. Ipag-drive at samahan sa lahat ng mall sa'yo. And I was just four years old. So, imagine. It's so crazy. Doon ko na-meet yung iba kong mga friends na naging artista na rin ngayon. Oh my God, guys, you know who you are. Shout out sa inyo. From Samantha Alcantara. Sometimes you have no choice but to take a pic since your mom forced you to. Oh my God, guys. My mom and dad never forced me. It was just me naturally posing and me wanting to be a model. As in, medyo bidabida ako nung bata ako. Oh my God, aware naman ako. Parang talagang bibo kid ako. So, they didn't have to force me. I was just really posing by myself. I know, right? Knows how to do makeup at a young age. So, usually, si mommy yung kasama ko sa backstage. But then, my mom was a flight attendant na that time. As in, kasi parang 25 years din service si mommy. So, so nung time na yun, flight attendant na siya. So, sometimes, may mga shows ako na gusto kong puntahan. 
and my mom isn't here because she has a flight or she's in another country. So my dad would be the one accompanying me. And guess what? My dad learned how to do my makeup. I was four years old and he was the only dad in the backstage. Lahat ng guardians, for your moms, ates, titas, si daddy lang talaga yung lalaki. And then he would do my makeup. As in, nilagyan niya ako ng nose line. Tapos, he would also create like yung mga accessories. Gumagawa din kasi sobrang ano si daddy eh. Mahilig siya sa mga crafts, ganyan. So talagang gumagawa siya ng accessories ko kasi that time parang we didn't have the budget to really like invest on accessories for me. Kasi hindi naman siya priority. It was just really to build my self-confidence. And I just really wanted to do it. So talagang ano, we would, he would would buy like mga beads to siya gagawa ng accessories ko siya din gagawa ng makeup ko so sobrang talagang best childhood ever as it and saya i really enjoyed that time oh this one okay so this was when i graduated in st paul kinder kinder 2 from sean sean gabtan an achiever who excels in arts especially performing on stage ever since i was in kinder in st paul super i would join extracurricular activities as in dancing singing lahat name it gusto kong salihan kasi talagang i love performing and i'm an adventurous person kasi so parang willing to try anything oh and dami dito consistent honor student you excel both you excel both in academics and extracurricular activities. Well, hmm, when it comes to academics, I wasn't like consistently in the honors list, but I have, you know, my good days. Na minsan nasa list, minsan wala. <laughs> so hindi consistent. But then I was part of the pilot section of the cream section. I was part of the cream section ever since I was in grade school to high school. I wasn't really doing bad in when it comes to academics. I was actually excelling also. Pero hindi ako grade conscious. Chill lang ako. Like I would study if there's an exam. I would I would do the assignments and everything, but I wasn't like really hard on myself um, when it comes to studying, especially in high school. Siguro nung grade school mas mas tutok sa studies. Nung high school parang mas chill lang. Pero pilot section pa rin naman. So Okay, pa rin. parang still in the top 50 of the batch. Wow. Uh, I'd say I, I made my parents proud when I was in grade school and high school. Every summer when I was a kid, um, grade school, high school, siguro mga first year, pero talagang grade school days. Pagka summer, my parents would usually enroll me to like a summer workshop. So name it, like I did musical theater, I did hip hop dance, I did folk dance, I did modeling, social graces, John Robert Powers trumpets, like everything I tried, center for pop music voice. As in, laging kailangan may summer activity ako. And I feel like it's such a good practice also for a kid. It didn't only prepare me when it comes to acting, modeling, dancing, yung the works of an artista, but it also prepared me for my social skills. So I could easily talk to people. Hindi ako takot sa tao. Talagang I really try to reach out. So big, big, big part yung workshops every summer. Kaya naging easy for me to do everything now that I'm working. Hmm. Meron dito very competitive from Temshi Kato, and it's true. Oh my God, especially in my younger days. Actually, hanggang siguro mga 14, 15 ako. I was very competitive. Up to now naman, pero mas reasonable na. Pero before talaga, like, I would be so hard on myself. Because I, I was very competitive. So, pati sarili ko, kinukompete ko. Hindi ako pinipilit ng parents ko to be top one. But I want to challenge myself to be top one. Parang ganon. Competitive talaga ako na kailangan maging ganito ako. Kailangan maging ganyan ako. As I grew older, lalo na ngayon, yung nag-adulting ka na, parang... It's so much wasted energy and it's so much parang sometimes it gets toxic also kasi syempre you put so much pressure on yourself and it shouldn't be like that able to boost confidence through performing Bibo Kid resident performer ng Bachelor Class <laughs> Totoo yung able to boost self confidence through performing since I mentioned nga earlier workshops help me a lot talaga through performing talaga I get to express myself kahit nung bata pa ako and yung Bibo Kid, resident performer ng bachelor class, oh my god, feeling ko tama ito. I don't wanna judge myself, so I guess sa mga naging classmates ko or naging batchmates ko, baka sila pwede mag-comment dito, pero 
Well, may time talaga na when I look back, parang shops, masyado nga talaga akong bidabida and medyo sobrang active ako talaga sa school. I mean, it's, it's okay naman siya, pero oh my god talaga, like, ang brave ko. <laughs> Kapal na mukha ako. I was like a subscriber of the magazine. Every month, talaga mo ibili or may dumarating na magazine sa bahay. Yun yung pagka tinitignan ko yung mga girls sa Total Gear, lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili ko na, oh my gosh, someday I wanna be one of them. I wanna model also. I wanna I wanna be in print ads. I wanna be in magazines. So, there was this one opportunity. Nagbasa ako ng isang Total Girl and then meron isang page yung nakalagay parang searching for the next Total Girl, blah, 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 blah. And then you just have to submit your photos, you have to submit your resume, blah, blah, blah. So I did. I, I, I submitted everything that I, I can submit and then I got in. They contacted me and then my mom. I was 11 years old or 10 years old that time. I can't remember. But ayun, nakapasok ako and then I got my first print for Total Girl. And I was so, so, so happy because I was such a fan of the magazine. And ang kayo mga ka-age ko dyan, bumibili din kayo ng Total Girl. As in, Total Girl and K-Zone yung mga in the magazines mo. So, talagang, tignan mo pa yan kung ano yung mga clothes, kung ano yung mga in the mga sapatos for our age. Oh my gosh. I miss those days! Grabe, sobrang miss ko yun. Ang daming naglagay ng super kikay, very maarte. As in, like, madami talaga. Pero totoo naman, I was really aware ever since I was a kid. Up to now, naman, I'm really maarte, and I just love clothes. I love shoes. I love I love dressing up. I love being a girl. So, ayon. At this age, did you already see yourself as an artist working in showbiz? From Jenny Fuentes. Parang ano? Mas nakikita ko yung sarili ko as a beauty queen. Wow. <laughs> Ini nga. Parang childhood dream ko si yun, yung beauty queen. So that time, parang I really wanted to be a beauty queen or to enter the industry, really. So I guess yeah. Maybe a bit, yeah. I wanted to be an artist in that time. But the desire, medyo naglelo siya nung nag high school ako. I don't know, kasi maybe that was my awkward stage and mas bumaba yung self confidence ko nung high school ako. Hindi ko inexpect na nung fourth year high school ako maging artist ako. So, inaagawa ng pagkain lagi si Alex. Oh my god. Hindi ko siya inaagawa ng pagkain. Ako yung tagaubos ng tira niya. Well, up to now para naman. Si Kalil ako tagaubos ng tira niya. So, mata ako talaga ako ever since. Hindi ka lumalabas ng bahay to play with other kids since you have your sister na kalaro. Well, actually, when I was a kid, we live in a compound. Lahat talaga, may space kami to play tumbang preso, nagpapatintero kami, naghahabulan kami, nag lahat talaga, nag-touch the color kami, ice water, everything. And then I have this friend, um, neighbor din namin, her name is Daphne. Oh my god, hi Daph, I miss you. She owns a business now, Ilyang Ilyang. Check it out, I'll link it here. Anyway, kami to play yung talagang super close. We basically grew up together and we play everything together up to when we were like grade Five grade six, kenyan. No, wala bas tama kami ng bahay ng ate ko. Pero sa compound lang, dun kami naglalaro ng mga larong pang labas, larong kalye, mga pati. Pero tumo preso ay kalulu namin si Nadaf, cakay yung mga may gudi mga yaya namin na kami sa ay ate Merla, ate girl. If you're watching, hello. Oh, meron pa dito third pick, telling me you are a pal baby without telling me you are a pal baby. Yes, that's true. I have a photo here with my sister with like ano Philippine Airlines na aircraft sa likod. So we used to really like travel a lot because we are pal babies yeah, ever since we are kids. So yeah. I won SM Star Club 2003 when I was four or five years old. Parang inaalala ko sobrang sobrang big deal yun sa akin ng bata ako kasi since bibo kid ako and everything, talagang inenjoy ko yung pagkapanalo ko. Ang naalala ko merang may may supply ako ng toys noon, ng mga baby clothes. Kid. And then, I also joined Starstruck, but I got rejected the first try pa lang. As in, audition, di man lang ako na callback. Oh my God, Starstruck. Nakakahiya. Siguro batch ito nila Miguel nila, or nila Bea. Madaming commercial ang pinag-auditionan. Sabi ni Jen Chuli Cheng underscore 15. Yes, oh my God, but you know what? I was a suke for talent search. As in, yung mga contest, mga talent search yun. Suki ako doon, like, G ako dyan, kaya ko mag-place dyan or magpanalo. Pero when it comes to commercials or VTRs, lagi akong rejected. 
As in, sa buong talambuhay ko, I got like how many commercials when I was a kid? Three commercials out of like the 50 VTRs I went to. So, I also had a hard time booking for commercials, pero I was okay. Sabi ni Bella Katage, hindi ka agad sumusuko kahit marami na ring rejections. Kakabilib kasi bata ka pa ganun na, oh my god, that's so true. Actually, I was a tough kid. I wasn't disheartened easily whenever I get rejected. That was a trait na I admire sa akin nung bata ako. Gustong gusto ko siyang ibalik. Kasi siya, iba siya eh. Kapag bata ka, you're innocent, you're carefree, you're worry-free, di ba? You just really wanna get things done when you're a kid. And I wasn't scared of rejections. Like, if I get rejected, okay, then try again. So right now, parang I'm also trying to <laughs> gain that back. You know, ang hirap din kasi kapag nagkakaisip ka na talaga and medyo, di ba, you tend to overthink. Kaya ang sarap maging bata. Hi. Mm. Okay. I think yung last photo, the one with my dad, sa na yung Pilipino to in Pasay near the airport. Buhay pa yun nun, open pa. We would often go there because my sister has asthma. It was active asthma talaga when we were kids. So usually they would take her to nature parks. Yun yun. And naing Pilipino yun yung parang pinaka malapit and available park talaga na okay. So you would often go there para magpahangin si ate. Ella the art the archer. People assume na mas matanda ko kay ate Alex all the time guys. Up to this day. Up to this day, I swear. Even though when we were kids, up to this day, they would always think I am older than my sister. I mean, I don't think that's good. Like, is that a, that's not a compliment. It's a compliment for my sister for sure. But for me, I don't think it's a compliment. So I'm old. Mas, kasi I'm taller than my sister ever since. So baka yun, yun din siguro. I don't know. Very friendly approached other kids first for me, Gabriel. Like I would create a conversation when we were kids to a, like a like a kid I met at the seventh birthday party. I would make cheek and agad. I was a very forward kid. I could approach you and talk to you right away. Nalala man nagbago. Ganon parehong naman ako hanggang ngayon. Madal dal chikadora. Di ba obvious? <laughs> Sabi ni Sophie Villamor, the type who has the pink stroller bag for school na super uso. Oh my god! Parang gusto ko uniform yung lunchbox ko and yung school bag ko. But then, you know, hindi naman laging good days when we were kids. They were, may, may time na sobrang tipid kami that I would like repeat bags parang every school year. And it's okay. And I remember pa, my sister and I, when we were high school or grade 6, we would buy the books from our upper batch. Ang ginagawa namin, binibili namin yung books ng upper batch para makatipid, hindi na brand new yung books na bibili namin. And then yung mga pages na may sagot, pinapa-photocopy namin. Yung blank page, and then binidikit namin doon para pwede na na ulit namin sagutan. Ganun siya guys. As in, it wasn't all easy and fun before, but I, we were happy. We were have our tipid moments also. So it's not always the uso bag yung ginagamit namin. May times na we repeat everything every after school year. So I super enjoyed guys. I, I enjoyed this trip down to memory lane with you. And I'm so happy that I got to share my childhood with you guys. If you guys have any comments or like suggestions about what I can do next here on my channel, feel free to comment down below. And also, I'm gonna be putting the details for the Bello Collagen drink in the description box so that you guys can also have your Bello smoothie at home. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay at home, stay safe, wear your mask, and I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye!